I'm Naomi Ray. I'm a professor at the Institute for Molecular Bioscience and the Queensland Brain Institute at the University of Queensland. Our study has investigated the genetic basis of major depression. We identified 44 DNA locations which seem to be uh, associated with the risk of depression and more than two thirds of those are, are new. You know, one of the th outputs of our research is to show just how complex the disorder is. That in fact we all, every single one of us, carries genetic risk factors for depression. It's just that those affected tend to carry a higher burden which makes them genetically more susceptible and more vulnerable. There are many different types of antidepressants and some of them work very well for some people. But often you find that people will have to try uh, different types before they find the one that works for them. And so what we would like to do is to collect data on people with their experiences of taking antidepressants. I'm Nick Martin, I'm a professor at the uh, Queensland Institute of Medical Research, Berghofer, Brisbane, and I lead the Australian Genetics of Depression Study. The Australian Genetics of Depression Study uh, is part of a large international consortium uh, to try and find the genes behind depression. If we can do that, uh, it will give us a much better idea of which medications work for which people uh, so that we can give people a genetic uh, test before they are prescribed antidepressants. Hopefully will also lead to the development of new pharmaceuticals uh, because although there are drugs out there at the moment, uh, they don't work for everybody and they, and they have unpleasant side effects for many people. Uh, so that a lot can be done to improve that and genetics is the way to uh, actually, uh, the way into that problem. What we understand about the causation of clinical depression is that some people are at more risk than others and that risk is largely inherited. That's genetic, it runs in families. So faced with the same life circumstances, some people are more likely to get actual clinical depression than others. So that's the genetic bit, and that's about one third of the total risk. The Australian Genetics of Depression Study aims to recruit 20,000 individuals to help us to find actually the genetic causes and some of the better treatments for depression. In genetics, Big numbers leads to faster solutions. And all you have to do is go to www.geneticsofdepression.org.au uh, and you can find out everything there is about the study and sign up to take part. And all we need from you is about 20 minutes of your time and a willingness to give us a saliva sample. And we make all the arrangements and cover all the costs.